Kieran, thank you for talking to us. Job done. Uh, two goals, clean sheet, three points. How do you assess it? Yeah, um, good performance uh, for large parts of the game. Um, I think it's a good night's work overall. I thought the first half was really, really good for the first probably 35, 40 minutes. Um, again, a really good fast start at home, which is important. Um, really good goal. Uh, things that we work on. Um, and really, probably that spell, we probably should have had more than one goal. So we left the game open a little bit when we were as dominant and performance was as good as it was at that stage. We were probably good value for two or three. Um, but you're not going to have the game all your way for 90 minutes. And, and that was seen just before half time that the unbelievable strike hits the post and you can't be going in at 1 1. So that was a, a little wake up for everybody. Again, they had a few you know, shots in the start of the second half. They came out with really good energy. but. Um, yeah, we managed to get control of it again. I thought we went back to our fundamentals of working really hard without the ball and, and getting control of the ball and that and, and the substitutes coming on doing well gives you a good chance to get hold of the game again and um, a little bit lucky for the second goal but I think the, the overall performance deserved it and, and possibly a, a couple more. What did you like about the opening stages of the game, the fast start as you say? Yeah, I liked almost everything about our game to be fair. Our intensity off the ball was really good, made us hard to play against. Um, our pass was slick, played through the pitch well, had good penetration. Freddie was, was really good on the last line, gave us a great outlet. We were finding the tens, finding the width. We were doing everything that we want to do. So, um, yeah, we, we put ourselves in a really good position. And probably one thing we can improve from the night is at that spell, a top, top team, I think, go and, and make that maybe two or three at that stage. Because, you know, against a, a very game and, and good team against Bristol Rovers, who have some good players, they're going to have a spell of the game as well. And they probably had maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, where on another day maybe something flashes in the top corner so um, yeah I thought there was lots to like about the performance things to improve and, and that's what we focus on The first goal as you've described a good goal what was good about it we saw Sam Morsey breaking down the left side and you know often we've seen this season he's arriving into the box but on this occasion he's the supplier Yeah I thought his performance overall was, was excellent it's, um, you know, we're seeing that every week, the consistency that him and Lee are hitting in there, but it still shouldn't go unsaid. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, really good goal. Obviously, Sam making the, the run in behind, good link up with Marcus, nice slide pass for the, for the corner run and good bodies in the box and a good cutback and a good finish. So, um, yeah, it was a good goal for us, the type of goal that we, we, we obviously <coughs> excuse me, work on quite a bit. So it was, it was nice to see it and um, yeah, it's about then repeating that and not coming away from that and being really ruthless and clinical like we were for the goal and the really best teams just keep doing the simple things over and over again until they take the game away from you. You mentioned uh, Lee Evans there as well. <coughs> His role in football is perhaps a kind of unsung hero and not mentioned as much. What does he bring to this side and why is he performing so well at this stage? Yeah, I think they're both doing doing really really well they've both got roles that suit them very well in the team Lee, Lee is um, terrific at building the play for us a range of passing positioning game intelligence um, physicality on second balls and aerial duels counter pressure all the things that you'd want from that role um, so he's playing his role really well Sammy's obviously got a slightly different role that he's um, you know, adapted to really well over the last few months and is, is a little bit higher and breaking forward and making his dangerous runs into the box. But mm -hmm. yeah, I say it, it can go unsaid, but it probably shouldn't because I think there's, you know, if there's, if there's many better Welsh or, or Egyptian midfielders than those two, then, then they've got some really good options in their national teams because those two have been, been really good for quite a period of time now and it's yeah. pleasing to see. And I think there's still room for improvement. They're both hungry to learn, hungry to get better. and and both um, can still keep progressing even though they're in their, um, they're at a good age and a good experience. Both got still room and the hunger to improve. What was the overall message at half time? Um, yeah, I think the, the shot just before half time was a good wakener mm -hmm. because the feel of the performance felt like a 3 0, but it wasn't, it was 1 0. Yeah. And probably the, the chance they had just before half time probably done the half time team talk for us because it was just you know a little wakener for everyone that the game's not done. They've got talent and ability and they haven't given up on the game and we need the second goal um, to go and be comfortable. So, um, yeah, I think it was emphasising those things and, and making sure we went out and tried to win the second half. And mm. we obviously yeah, managed to do that with a, a goal, a little bit lucky with a deflection, but I think the, the amount of pressure and shots and um, domination we had around our box, I think if, if you do that, then you, you earn a little bit of luck eventually. Three subs made at one point in the second half as well. What was the thought process behind that one, Kieran? 
Yeah, um, it was just doing as we have in every game. We have the we have the the options to freshen it up, bring in fresh legs, bring in different qualities to the game. Um, Leaf and Marcus had a very good first half down the left hand side and put a lot of effort into the game. So it was a great chance to to freshen it up with Greg and with uh, Tyrese, and they came on and really steadied the game for us and pushed us on again. And um, nice for Gasan to get the, whatever, maybe 25 minutes um, yeah. at home. Again, I thought Freddie's all-round performance was, was excellent, maybe his best in my time here. Um, and he'd, he'd worked ever so hard for 65 minutes and give Gasan a good chance to come on and had a few chances, worked hard, and um, yeah, a good start for him to get out of Portman Road. Quite understandably, a lot of emotion around tonight's match. Um, with some wonderful support and tributes as well. But did you feel like the lads focused on the job at hand and, and dealt with that aspect well? Yeah, um, that was something we, we had to speak about because there was obviously two big ones tonight that was yeah. um, emotional for different reasons. And um, yeah, we wanted to you know show support and, and pay our respects. And um, I thought that both sets of fans, our club and... Um, everyone in the stadium done that really well, but we knew there was a football match to win and um, that was the messages before the game and, and the boys managed to do that well.